Ukraine reaches Russia's last defense line in Zaporizhia Oblast. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, has reported that Ukrainian armored vehicles are already operating beyond the last line of Russian defense fortifications, which Ukrainian forces are currently breaking through in the west of Zaporizhia Oblast. Although it is too early to claim that Ukraine's armed forces have completely broken through this Russian defense layer. Geolocated footage posted on September the 21st indicates that Ukrainian armored vehicles advanced south of the Russian anti-tank ditches and dragon's teeth obstacles that are part of a tri-layered defense and engaged in limited combat immediately west of Verbov. It is unclear if Ukrainian forces retain these positions, however, the ISW said. The ISW reported that they saw, for the first time, that Ukrainian forces are using armored vehicles outside of Russia's three-layer defense. The ISW emphasizes that the presence of Ukrainian armored vehicles beyond the last line of the current Russian defense layer indicates that the Ukrainians have sufficiently breached the first two lines of this layer to move their vehicles forward. The Ukrainian ability to bring armored vehicles to and through the most formidable Russian defenses intended to stop them and to operate these vehicles near prepared Russian defense positions are important signs of progress in the Ukrainian counteroffensive, the ISW noted. The ISW noted that Ukrainian forces have also advanced to the west and southwest of the settlement of Verbov. Thus, the Russian troops, currently defending in the western part of Zaporizhia Oblast, didn't have an ability to prevent the Ukrainian troops from advancing gradually but confidently since mid-August. The ISW wrote that it constantly observes the slow but regular advance of Ukrainian troops in this area, despite the fact that the Russian military is transferring parts of relatively elite units here to strengthen its defensive operations.